Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have one of our favorite videos ever to film. Heck yes. We love food. We love food subscription boxes and this one is one of our favorites for yeah. sure. This is from the British Candy Box from Kate and Alex. This with them. Yeah. This box is massive. It's huge and it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to see what's in it. That's right, let's crack it open. All right, let's see what we got. So we know it's a variety of snacks and goodies and treats and sweets and all of that. Ooh. What? We got a love letter? <laughs> or hate mail? Let's see what it is. <laughs> let's see. Oh my gosh, I love it. How cute. Oh my goodness. You we're guys, gonna have to read that. I'm gonna cry. Look. <laughs> okay, we're gonna read it. We're gonna cut and come right back. Alright, so we've read the note. How sweet and how exciting is this? Yeah, Kate and Alex are just some amazing people, and this is the sweetest thing ever. So. Yeah, we love their channel and they don't pay us to say that we just no. genuinely love their channel we hope you do as well they've included a couple little extra treats for us in yeah. this box which, which we really so do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah we appreciate it so much because we are true subscribers of theirs we love this box and so you know we're and their channel it. both yeah and yeah. their channel both but the top <gasps> layer oops thank you for that, <laughs> are all stuff that we've had <laughs> that we loved yeah our favorites yeah Oh my Amazing. gosh! Amazing! Okay, so we're gonna not try these in the video, but we're yeah. gonna share with you what we got. We have a couple <laughs> subscribers from the UK that have heard me talk about the Stinger and have never tried one. Here's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, never saw one before. Screenshot either. this and go find one. <laughs> if you're into uh, fruity, tangy, yeah. that kind of thing, you'll love this. I love this. That is my one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the whole world. Ooh. This um, is exciting. We also have Flake, one of our favorites. You know, oh, a pillowcase size thing of frazzles. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, I know what you and I are doing tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, our plans just changed. Uh, Double decker. Mm hmm. Love that. Ooh. <gasps> Tonics. Oh, dark chocolate caramel. Yeah. Grab oh, this one. <gasps> yes. Cream. Yep. This day just got interesting. These we loved. Yep. Oh fingers. my gosh, you guys. You guys are amazing. Okay, there's a note on here. Stay there. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, these are the only things you won't have tried. Unless we missed it. As they're brand new. What are these? Uh, I mean, that's exciting. They're more fingers, right? Yeah. Mint. Mint. <gasps> Mint. Oh my goodness. Oh my Mint. goodness. Thank you, <clears throat> Kate and Alex. This is so sweet of you. So. Sweet of you. If you're My not subscribed, my waistline thanks you. Yes, yeah, right. If you're not subscribed <laughs> to their channel, go check them out. They're fun brother sister team. Uh, they do have this box. They do a ton of trying things. A lot of it from the states. Lovely people. But Lovely. from other other places as well. Um, this is exciting. Look at look at all of this. All right, so. What an amazing box <laughs> yet again. Uh, as always, it's a mixture of savory things, fruity sweets and chocolates. And we had a bonus in this Yay, box, more some more tea, tea, which <laughs> we just tried not too long ago. If you missed it, we'll maybe link it in the comments, but I can't wait to try that again. Yeah, and now, you know, we've got some more Yorkshire tea. We have a box of Yorkshire gold, so now we can, we can try them Comparison? next to each Yeah, other. yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so starting off with crisps, 
These say real hand cooked sea salt and black pepper. Yep, that sounds good. What does that say? With bags of character. Oh, look at the, <laughs> the picture on it. Okay, these are salt and vinegar quavers. We, when we were unpacking, we were trying to decide if we've tried these before. We can't really remember, but we really want to eat them. We so know we've had quavers, just not what flavor. Yeah. We don't remember what flavor. Yeah. And then, and these are McCoy's Fire Pit Flame Roasted Peri Peri. Nice. That sounds delicious. And then, as far as new candies and sweets, these are Chew It's. And they say Juicy Bites. And they're blue raspberry. We have a bag like this, and then we have this kind, which is... Cherry. Cherry, okay. Love flavor, cherry flavoring. Awesome. We've got uh, Tunnix Dark Chocolate Caramel. I can't wait for that. I cannot I love wait dark for that chocolate. either. Um, and then there's the Bueno uh, Coconut. Yeah. Um, what's this? Galaxy Counters, Pieces of Pure Chocolate Pleasure. Ooh. Mm. And then... I don't know if I'm saying this right. Banoffee? Banoffee nut I've fumble. heard Banoffee and Banoffee. I've heard yeah. Banoffee. Let so us know. <laughs> let, yes, please let us know in the comments which way but, it's pronounced. So the box was separated. The top part was just extra stuff for us because Kate and Alex are so wonderful. That's right. The bottom part was the, the box that got delivered to everybody that subscribed and, uh, or, you know, subscribed to the box. So there were some things in there that we have had before some of them are favorites so what we're thinking we're going to do is maybe not try them in this video and save them and do some individual videos like we keep saying we're going to do yeah. so now we have a little stash last. yeah okay so uh -huh. let's show them so we have evidence of what videos we're supposed to be doing so john just can't eat them all <laughs> <laughs> dairy milk caramel here is rhubarb and custard flavored drumstick that might not make it <laughs> Uh, Kit Kat Chunky, uh, this is Salted Caramel Popcorn. I think the other, the other, the other one we had just was popcorn. just popcorn. All right, oh, we're throwing it gotta in. try it, yeah. Um, orange Flavored Twirl, Wisp of Gold, there's a Boost. Uh, Which we also liked very much. Yeah, Munchies and Fudge, and one of my favorites, a Crunchy. That's right. That we, probably won't make it to an individual. Oh, you know. I love, those are some <laughs> of my favorite, favorite, favorite things that we've ever got. That's a combination of a lot of the favorite things that we've ever had. That plus, yeah, oh yeah. What an amazing box. That's right, I'm excited. Okay. Let's start with the crisps. Which you pick first, which crisps? All right, let's just go with sea salt and black pepper. Sounds good. We should say hello and welcome Hi. if you're new. This is what we do. We try new foods. We love international foods. We put out a video every single day. So please subscribe while you're here and make sure you hit the little bell. Ding. So that you can be notified when our new videos go up. Mm, I, I, I got, got a crisp. Smell. <laughs> oh, okay. They smell good. What am I expecting? Sea salt and black pepper. Okay. Yeah. Go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah. I love salt and pepper chips. Never get them. Love them though. Me too. Here's the other thing. Most often, but not always, do we get the other kind. Not hand cooked, not kettle cooked. We just get regular crisps. And these hand cooked kettle cooked kind of situation really hit the spot every once in a while Why, uh, i love the pepper on these too yeah and this real brand has um like a really good crunch to it mm. not mm. too hard uh, and then not too thin like a regular mm -hmm. mm. we'll um rank these instead of rating them individually I can tell you, I want to go look for salt and pepper chips and see if we can get them here. I know that we can, but I mean, without traveling somewhere, you know, right in our mm. local grocery store, can we get salt and pepper chips cause, or crisps because I want to. Yeah, I think I saw Lay's had some um, in our store not that long ago. Oh. 
So maybe they have it all the time. I smell chicken and vinegar is what it huh. smells like to me, kind of. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Do you smell anything? Do you? Definitely get that vinegar. Yeah. Okay, ready? I think so. McCoy's has such great crunch. Yeah, they do. A fiery, tangy tussle. Tussle. Mm hmm. Whoa. Mm hmm. Well, it's good flavor. It does, I, I do get the um, like vinegar taste to it. There's like a, what am I trying to say? There's heat to this. But you know, I'm a baby, <laughs> and I will tell you if it's too much, it's not too much. Could I sit and eat as many of those as maybe these? No, but it's not too much to eat a few. Right. I like I like these too. Yeah, yeah McCoy's is a great brand as mm -hmm. well. Now, speaking of great brands, Walker, they're back. Quavers. I love the texture on these. I love, love the texture on these. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm kind of getting a vinegar taste to it. Yep, salt and vinegar. I've said this before when we've tried salt and vinegar chips that, or crisps, that I can eat those to my detriment. Oh yeah. Too much salt and vinegar <laughs> Makes can destroy hurt. your mouth. Yeah. Um, I don't have a filter. I can just, I can house those. No problem. Those All right. are good. Those are amazing. Okay. You want to rank them? Yep. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, these I think have the best flavor. Like I, when I, I always try to judge when you take a bite of it and it, you're like, whoa. That's yeah, and tech, all of these have really great texture. Yeah, but they're different textures, you know? They are. Yeah, yeah. this is more like kettle cooked. This is, how do you describe Quaver's texture to somebody that's never had Quaver's before? Mm, airy? They're super airy and light. They kind of remind me of like pork rinds in a, kind of. in a way the crunch, I don't, I don't know. Our pork rinds in the States though are different than what you have in the UK. So, yeah. um, anyway, Aryan country. Yeah. If you haven't tried them, you just have to try them. But, but yeah, super, super, super good. And then, um, McCoy's, I mean, those are good. Just a, there's, there's heat, which probably would be, be not something that I would choose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but I liked trying them very much. Yeah. I would say 10 out of 10 for these for me. Um, I would too. Yeah. I would too. And Quavers are always like 10 out of 10 for me. I love them. But I feel like in my spirit, and I don't know which one it is. I feel like we've tried another Quavers that I liked better than salt and vinegar, a different flavor. I don't know if, is there a prawn cocktail quaver? So there has to be. I feel like maybe I like that one better than yeah. this one. But I like this one very much too. There you have it. There you have it. All right, see you Apple in a while. Bread. See you in a while. All right. Okay, sweet stuff. All right, you work on opening that and I'll work on opening this. Done. Ha! My, my, my. It's probably a one of those little pole things around here. I just don't see it yet. I'm wondering if these are going to be... Um, Ooh, look at those. Yeah. If they're sour? Well, thank you. Or just I don't know if you're handing it to mm -hmm. me. Or... Yeah. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. Whoa. Is that magic? <laughs> hmm. Oh no, it's stuck to the roof of my mouth. If you've never tried these before, 
They're kind of in the circus peanuts family. I was just going to say that. The texture. Something about it reminds me of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it has, like, blue raspberry, I think, is mm -hmm. the flavor on top of that. But there is, like, a circus peanut quality to mm -hmm. it. Yes. Indeed. Which I used to eat in my grandpa's house all mm. the time. There's something very nostalgic tasting about that mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. That's this is a Laura snack, I think. <laughs> I love those. No. Same brand. Same brand. These are squares though. These look Nothing like in the middle. Mm-hmm. These look like Laffy Taffies or what else mm -hmm. do we get that's like this? Uh, Mambas. Now and later's are harder yeah. versions of these, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't get over these. I really can't get over these. I want to know what other flavors they have. These are, I love those. Liquid filled bonbons. <laughs> I love those very much. Mm, the neighbor's dog is out. Mm. Okay. Cheers. I'm chewing my last one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand. No rush. A little weight. I was savoring it. Suitable for vegetarians. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Mm. That's a good cherry flavor. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. These are these are the kind of things that I love. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate too, don't get me wrong, but I definitely tend to gravitate more towards chewy, fruity kind of thing. Yeah. I love them both. Me too. Okay. So in ranking these two things, <laughs> I rank this one number one for me. Oh, this one. <laughs> By far, I like this one better. Well, here's the thing. I like this one very much, but we can go to our store and pick up something similar. There is, sure. there's circus peanuts that are a similar texture. That's the closest thing that I can tell you that they're like, um, that we can get here. Right. But they're, they are different than that. Um, we, we can't go to the store and get really anything close to this. I will, no. and that always gets high points from this judge. I love, 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 love those. I like these very much. Okay. There you have it. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up, chocolate stuff. Okay, let's start with white. Bueno coconut. And we were kind of talking when we were unpacking these. We don't really know whether we've tried this before or not. We've had some things that were similar. We keep saying that we're working on a master list. That's harder to compile than you might think. <laughs> yeah. Now that we're already into it, knee deep right. into it. That's... Right. So we're not sure, but. Um... Okay. So uh, we were just about, both about to try this. And then I was reading the description of it on the back and saw that it is hazelnut in the middle, filling in the middle. And that surprised me by looking at it because it was coconut. But we know that, you know, the buenos, I think, are known for hazelnut or kinder. Here's the thing. I It didn't look familiar to me, but it looked familiar to you. And it probably doesn't look familiar to me because I didn't try it before. <laughs> right. Okay. That makes sense. So, pretty sure I've tried it before, but I'm, I'm going to try it again. It. Mm. it smells good. It does smell good. Mmm. Yeah. I would hate it, though, right? Mm-hmm. You would <laughs> absolutely hate it. These are delicious. The cream on the inside, it does not seem like hazelnut. It doesn't really taste like it. I just taste the coconut, but. Okay. I like the wafer on the outside. It's so crunchy. Okay. Now, <coughs> you wanna do these? Sure. This is Kit Kat Chunky. <coughs> Excuse me. Salted caramel. Wait. <laughs> Salted caramel popcorn. popcorn. I get a drink. Ooh, you can smell it from here. Ooh. I'm gonna take a bite bite instead of like breaking off a piece so I don't make a disaster. 
Go for it. Thank you, my dear. Mm -hmm. That is so different. Mm. The salt really comes through. And the caramel, too. And the popcorn. Yeah. It tastes just like <laughs> caramel popcorn. Mm. Or caramel popcorn. Mm. I don't think it tastes like caramel corn. But what it reminds me of is around the holidays in particular, how you get those specialty buckets of popcorn or caramel corn oh, that yeah. have like drizzle. So you're getting mm -hmm. chocolate and caramel and popcorn, you know, all in one bite. That's what it reminds me of. That's good. States, we need to get like... <laughs> on like we got Kit in Kat. line with everybody else everywhere else you can get Kit all these Kat. crazy Kit Kat flavors I mean we do get we got um, key lime and fruity cereal and pumpkin spice nobody wants that we want popcorn Kit Kats that's what we want <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want that's what we deserve <laughs> that's right all right now uh. what uh, let's try these little let's do it galaxy counters. We love galaxy What do they say they are? Um, chocolate I believe Plain chocolate they look like the kind of thing that could have a nut Ooh. in them So no hint of a nut Okay. What oh, are those things back. from the UK that I love if he can't tell me you tell me that are like this that I love. That some have raisins and some have Oh, uh, randoms. Randoms. Yeah, right? I love those. We haven't seen those in a while, but that's they do that a lot. And I love that it's all different things all mixed up in one. I love, love, love that. Ready? That's the sort of thing I would not have appreciated as a kid. <laughs> I would be like, I'm not eating that. I don't know what's in there. Hmm. Those are good. Mm-hmm. They're not like M&M's in that the outside is not candy coated. It's right. chocolate. It's just, just chocolate. It's just chocolate, yeah. In that shape, though. Yeah, they are pieces of smooth and creamy galaxy chocolate lovingly created to melt in your mouth. They do. Mm-hmm. Mm, indeed. Those are good. Those are real good. Are you going to put the rest of them back in here? Mm-mm. Okay. Um, I'll finish them. Do you want to eat this one next? Okay. Milk chocolate with banoffee. I'll say it both ways just so <laughs> I can... You're uh, only going to tick people off half of the time. <laughs> right. Inspired fudge pieces, golden almond caramel pieces, and crunchy biscuits. Mmm. I like how that sounds. Invented by Josh Clark. We'll see if it's good, Josh. How cool that if you invent something, they put your name on it. Yeah. If this brand is known for putting bits and bobbles in their chocolate, which I am a huge fan of. Here we go. I'm gonna smell it. What's... I still don't know what. It smells like chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. As soon as we get off this video, I'm going to look up what Benafi yeah. means. Nope. I've seen it several times, but I just don't know exactly what it is. I did not realize what this was. But then I got this flavor when I ate it, and I was like, I still don't know what this is. But there was a definitely distinctive flavor. Milk chocolate with banana flavor caramel. Oh. Crunchy almond caramel pieces and biscuit pieces. So banafi, ah. if I'm saying it wrong, is banana toffee. Huh. Maybe. Am I right? Go figure. That's what it sounds like to me. Who would have thunk it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds amazing. So there's mm -hmm. banana in the whole thing or in the caramel? Caramel, or you can't tell? It's somewhere in there. Okay. Well, since you got to eat a couple of things on your own, I guess I'll try this one on my own. Fair enough. Just kidding. Fair is fair. Nobody knows how to open this. Oh, just like that. Okay. I was looking for a thing on the end. You know that's going to be good. <laughs> yes. Smell this. <sighs> Smell 
So good. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Man, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Super rich. That dark chocolate's amazing. It's really good. I love those. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what was your question before the camera time down? I wonder if it's new. Yeah. We wonder if this is new. The yeah. dark chocolate caramel. I'm Yeah, I'm just curious if it's been around as long as the other one. Uh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I want more. No, there's all those things over there uh, that we yeah, haven't tried yet that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try coming soon. Kate and Alex, what an amazing slash fun box. We loved everything. We have to um, rank these chocolates. Yep. Okay, do you want to go first or second? Uh, I will go second. Okay. Ladies first. Um. Gosh. Um, I couldn't try this, but I think I would like it very much. But because I couldn't try it, I'm just going to put it over here for this for a minute. And I couldn't try this, but I can tell you, is it the medley bar that I really like? Is that what it's so. called? There's a couple different ones. With all the junk in it that I mm -hmm. like. I love that. I love that so much. Um, so I know I would like that one too. Of these three that I could try, I really enjoyed all of them. I'm going to put this one last just because it's plain chocolate um but there's Good nothing wrong it's yeah. yeah but i mean <laughs> you know uh compared to this is <sighs> sophie's choice if I, okay dollar in a vending machine i think this one is so different right now today if i had a dollar at a vending machine i would pick this one so i'm gonna rank that one but i i think and i Maybe this is just me. I'm more of a milk chocolate person than a dark chocolate person. So it's a little rich for me. Um, but I liked it very, very, very much. But this compared to the other one, I think I like the other one better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling right now. Ask me tomorrow <laughs> and it might be a completely different answer. Right. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put this Ben Offie as number one. Mm. The caramel number two. Uh, chunky number three, then the bueno. Chunky number three. Chunky number three. And, Why are you uh, saying chunky? It's oh, this. A chunky Kit Oh, Kat. you okay? You have this in your uh, hand, and I yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's my order. All right. Favorite things from the box. Hmm. Favorite things from the box. I think number one for me has got to be these black pepper and salt, sea salt and black pepper. Very Crisps. often when we do a subscription box, um, whether it's this one or another one, we we love international crisps mm -hmm. so 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 much. So I, I agree that these two are probably well. This would be my three. Those would be your three, huh? My top three. I okay. loved these. I don't know what it is. The texture is so very different. Um, and I loved both of these so very much. If we're talking about the entire thing, things that we didn't include. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jam and creams for sure. And for me. this. Yeah, my heart belongs to Stinger. I... <laughs> I've been thinking I need a new tattoo. Maybe I need to get a stinger bar. I love the stinger so very much. All right, we have a mess that we need to clean up and some food that we need to go snack on. So Ooh. we're going to close out here. If you're not following Kate and Alex on Instagram or YouTube or they TikTok as well, go find them. British Candy Box is their subscription box, and this with them is their YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, yeah. please make sure to do so today. We will put a link down in the comments. Come find us on social media as mm -hmm. well. We are most active on Instagram. Instagram. That's right. Uh, we have a game channel too that's little bitty and just starting, and we're working on it a little bit more, so come find us there. 
Uh, now, if you love British snacks, mm -hmm. uh, we which we do, or uh, Quavers, or mm -hmm. Fox's Ugh, Biscuits, uh-huh, or Stingers, or Flakes, or Double Deckers, or... Us. Or the video. The video. Give <laughs> this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. We'll see you tomorrow. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.